Good morning, everyone. I hope you are having a fantastic day. If you're new to the channel, my name is Parker Nierenstein, and this is Vehicle Virgins. We are in Geneva. Check out this epic Agera RS. Hey, we got some cool YouTubers with us today. We got Seb Delaney. Hello, hello. We got Supercars of London, as well as Seen Through Glass in this V8 twin turbo Ferrari that apparently we are going to take to some supercar dealerships and go shopping. Look at that. Instagram photo shoots, I gotta learn from these guys. This Koenigsegg, guys, the spec on this is absolutely legendary. This GTC4 actually looks, I don't know why I'm going into the bamboo, quite nice. What do you think of it so far? It's lovely. It's lovely? The giant clown The steering shoe. wheel's on the wrong side of the road. That might uh, make it a little bit difficult. American banter. Uh -huh. uh, watch out, you're gonna get run over by Seb Delaney. Oh. Ooh. Ah. Oh my God, I'm going in the back. Get in the back. In the back. Oh. Is there space in here? Yeah, there's yeah. loads of room. Uh, the back of a Ferrari. What I don't know though is- Oh wow, thing... actually this, uh, the sunroof is unbelievable. Now, is that gonna stop on your legs or is it gonna crush you? No, I'd put your knees out, stop it. There you go. Oh. That's, that screen is nice. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff going on in here. Sweet. That's actually quite a nice backup camera. Sorry. Oh, copyrighted music. Yeah. <laughs> it was the Lion King soundtrack. Was it? Uh, probably. How to think you a Ferrari. Yeah. I'll be honest, I have never been in the back of a four-seater Ferrari, but the amount of space back here, it's not bad. I've got a tiny, how's your leg room? Paul's got Fantastic. He's always got too much. Oh, you actually do have a decent amount of leg room. Yeah, I, yeah. I thought you were being sarcastic, and I, can, I do too. I can go forward if you would like. No, no, you don't need you to. Sure? You don't need to. Floor it. That passenger display is really cool. I can I can choose whatever I want to. But you know you can at. actually genuinely do more on it now than you used to be able yeah. to. Yeah. Like you can go on the nav and find us a McDonald's. Really? Really? Yeah, yeah, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From there, so I can put in here, take me back to London, and then you're like, oh, I'm hungry. On the way, you just put in a McDonald's over there without me having to touch anything. That's pretty cool. It's funny. This is by far the most YouTubers I've filmed with simultaneously, and it's we're all trying to capture our own content, but we don't want to say the same things. Yet, we're all doing the same thing. It is, it's, it's a very interesting dynamic. You just said the same thing that I just said. Uh, yeah. We and, just and, said and, that. And he's about to say that. But it's really fun seeing the style and approach that each individual YouTuber has after watching them online and then translating to in person. And it turns out they're actually all a bunch of awesome dudes. <laughs> We are at dealership number one. Oh, look at all the spotters. It's gotta be here still. It must be here. Today we have decided to explore Geneva and go supercar shopping. We are riding in Sam's GTC4 Lusso. Now this is the V8 twin turbo model. That's rear wheel drive whereas the V12 variant is all-wheel drive. 601 horsepower, 560 pound-feet of torque. It's pretty quick, although the V8 is a bit muffled. We just showed up at Bentley, and there's something pretty cool behind this Bentayga. Let's check it out. Look at this, guys. A satin black LaFerrari with what looks like almost every single carbon fiber option. It's amazing seeing these cars in person versus in pictures. It's lower, it's wider, and a lot more wild. Now, if you can believe this, I've just read online that the carbon fiber rear diffuser option for the LaFerrari is $248,000, and this one has it. 250 grand for a carbon fiber rear diffuser. Absolutely insane. We just noticed that it appears to be a wrap. We can see a couple lines in here that look like they're overlaying two wrap panels. Regardless, looks incredible. What's down there? Really? Oh. Yeah. Bugatti, is it nice? Look at that sitting in the showroom, fully exposed carbon fiber Chiron with an orange interior sitting next to a Veyron. Paul and Sam just walked back up and they're like, no, nah, you, you know, there's no reason to go down. It's the one everyone's seen before. They're so jaded in Europe. We don't just see carbon fiber Chirons sitting around in California. I guess in Beverly Hills, maybe, but still exciting every time. Goodbye, LaFerrari. It's on to the next dealership. This is super interesting. You do not see G-Wagon convertibles often. It's a 2007 and it's still $130,000. Look at that top. It's weird, but I almost like it. Uh, oh, hey, he climbed in the back. We're riding in the front of the Ferrari. Oh. Switcheroo, you two. What? Switcheroo. <laughs> <laughs> we are now headed on to Lamborghini. So you can go find a Murcielago. Oh, oh. Have a Murcielago. Are you, you're, you would die. Yeah. What, what, 
Why do you like the Murcielago so much? Good question. <laughs> good, really, serious question. Really good question. Serious question. Serious question. Serious question. Yeah. That was the car that I uh, like got so excited about every time I went to London to film. Yeah. And the variations of exhaust systems and specs. It was the popular car at the time. It was the car that a lot of the Qataris drove over uh, in London. I just love the sound of it. The sound's insane. I love the looks of it. And that's about it, because it drives like a pig. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you still want to buy one. It's still, yeah, yeah. I that's awesome. Buy. Honestly, that that's what cars are about. It's about the love. You can't justify a Murcielago. It doesn't it doesn't drive well in any regard compared to modern day supercars. Yeah. But but it has that allure from your childhood. Yeah, just, just like that, like the 04 Gallardo had for me, yeah. and, and it had to be in a specific color. That was like part of the dream. Grigio Telesto. Nice. Gloss black. Nice. Camera wheels, yellow calipers. And yours is a. Uh, Challenge Stradale, right? It the 360? Is indeed. I couldn't afford it, so I bought a standard 360. <laughs> Living that dream. Let's check out this front display. Turn that on. Is it touchscreen? Yeah. It is. That is nice. Basically. Performance. Don't show my speed. Whoa. Don't show my oh, speed. I won't show the speed. We're going really fast. It's illegal. <laughs> Not bad, not bad. We have arrived at Lamborghini and it looks like there are some interesting things in the showroom. I'm pumped. Many times I have showed up to Ferrari dealerships in a Lamborghini and uh, it's usually not that well received. But one thing I like about Lamborghini is I feel like they're not gonna care. And there's a yellow carpet. Not a red carpet, a yellow carpet I to like the front it, I like door. it, I like it. This morning, let me tell you. We saw the Urus at the show, but thanks to Lamborghini Geneva, we are getting an epic opportunity to actually sit inside this and potentially hear what it sounds like. Oh, and that is an incredible color too. The Urus configurator, let's see it. Woo! Wow. And you have all the colors. You know that Parker. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Different trim options, leather, exterior colors. Whew. So the Urus is based on Volkswagen's MLB chassis. That has the Bentayga as well as the Q7. You got the key? It doesn't even matter. The rest of what I was gonna say doesn't even matter. We're rolling right now. But seriously, guys, twin turbo V8. It's a four liter twin turbo V8, 641 horsepower and 627 pound feet of torque in an SUV. Zero to 60 in 3.6 seconds. And honestly, in this color, blue Elios, I like it a lot more than the yellow and the gray one that I saw at the auto show. Those colors, they almost didn't feel like the quality of a Lamborghini, but in this, I'm in love. It also comes with wheels that are so large, they're not even allowed to be used on a production Urus yet. They're 23 inches That's in usual, diameter. usual for American though. 23s? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> I mean, that just looks spectacular. Okay, first time inside of the Urus. These seats look amazing. Very similar, almost actually steering wheel to the Audi R8. Let's hop in. Look at this. Look how many different driving modes there are. This is the Anima switch. Normally, like on my Huracan, we've got Strata Sport and Corsa, but now we have three more modes. Sabia, Terra, and I, I don't wanna butcher this pronunciation. Flip up, start, stop button. And they've put proper paddles on the car as well. These are made of metal, feel really nice. I am impressed with the Urus. It's quite spacious in here too. And at the same time, it does have that Lamborghini vibe and feel to it. Uh, I was a bit nervous that it would seem too much like a dressed up Q7, but it really doesn't feel like that whatsoever. I think we gotta sit in the back, let's do it. Let's climb in the back here. Now the Urus is available in a four seat or a five seat layout. We've got these captain style chairs here with a nice center armrest. I love this hexagonal stitched pattern. Tons of leg room, gorgeous screen here. Massive sunroof, Alcantara everywhere. I actually think Lamborghini has pulled off this SUV. I cannot wait to at some point get behind the wheel of one. Expecting that. that. Like, come on, admit that sounds good. Like an SQ7. That good. What? That sounds all. I, I've never wow. been so Wow. <laughs> I, I haven't seen one moving. 
Oh my god. <gasps> it has moved. I love this thing. It's so I, cool. I love it. Get ready your A63. We are going into the showroom next door and they have a crazy inventory of used Lamborghinis. Look at this. This is my favorite Gallardo of all time. The Super Trofeo Stradale, the ultimate final edition of the Gallardo. I love the rear engine bay cover. I wanted one of these so bad when I had a 2004 Gallardo, but I felt like I'd be a little bit too much of a poser if I put that on mine, but oh, spectacular. Gorgeous Super Legera next to it. A GT3 RS over there, and then we almost looked over this. This is a GT3 Touring. It doesn't have the wing. He is in Lamborghini heaven right now with all these Murcielagos, although there isn't an LP640, so... Oh, I'm, actually I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, no. But did you see? There's four manual Mercies. All of these are manual. That is nuts. Yeah. Look at this, guys. A Mercy and a manual. This inventory is its just staggering. We've got these two Diablo GTs here. I love the roof scoop. And this one is like full racing spec. Check out the wheels, the plastic window, and there's no diffuser in the back either. It's just straight up exhaust. Ooh, it's a GTR. Diablo GTR, guys. That is rare. This car is extremely special, not only because it's a Countach, not only because it only has 400 miles on it, but it's never been registered. That's right, this is actually technically a new Countach and it smells brand new inside. This dealership is actually insane. It is manuals galore. This is a 599, which normally, it's a decently cool car, the GTO is crazy. But in a manual, I believe they made less than 50 manuals. These command a massive premium. Super rare. This place just gets better and better. We're in the service center now. It's Huracan's galore. There is the original LM002 Lamborghini SUV. The Rambo Lambo. It's just Lambo SUV day today. This is awesome. Look at the exhaust tips on this thing. We need SUVs with exhaust like that, guys. They only made 301 of these. And we're standing next to one. The only time I've ever seen one is in the Lamborghini factory. This dealership keeps going on and on. And this has to be one of the craziest, if not the craziest, Lamborghini dealership I have ever seen. The cars they have in inventory, it's amazing. Grigio, Telesto, Performante, so stunning. Look at these two Aventadors. And then, I've seen a lot of pictures of this. I believe it is somebody quite important that owns this beautiful purple. Aventador. Oh, oh my gosh, and there's a Mini Cooper. Becca, I miss you. Well, unfortunately, it is time to leave, but getting to spend some time with the Urus here at Startup, go in the interior, that was an awesome experience. Lamborghini Geneva, you guys are awesome. Wow, Rolex World Headquarters. No, See ya, Ferrari, I think that's it. We're, we're going in. We're, we're not going, going in. No, no I don't think so. You just what? Four hours in the Lamborghini. We're going in? Let me look at the car. So, bro. What? F12. Look at that. Look at that. Oh! Oh, yes! Sand! Best car in Switzerland! We've just arrived at Ferrari, which means it is the perfect time to turn the camera off. All right, see you in a second. Uh, well, guys, uh, yeah, we just ran into the Apollo. What? I think it is, uh, it's is—it's time to check it out. Th this day has turned out to be ridiculous. The Apollo IE is right there. So is Stradman. Let's go check it out. They're loading it up so we don't have much time. Oh, my God. We're going to be uh, all day. Look at the purple carbon fiber. That is just spectacular. <laughs> That's one of the coolest looking cars I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> Going inside the showroom and <laughs> look at that, there's two Zondas as well. <laughs> we are at Karugati and I'm doing a separate video on the Apollo IE. It, it is just too stunning and there's too much to go over to put it in this vlog, so that will drop shortly. Make sure to watch it though, seriously. Sam is in heaven. Here. I literally this, I just this, came this, running next door. I was like, Parker, stop me over there. Come yeah. next door. Come next door. The, the extent of this classic car collection is unbelievable. I mean, this Ferrari is, is a better part of 10 to 15 million dollars and it is just it's just tucked away there. It's, it's just, just tucked away there. There's also a Zonda R, there's two other Zondas, XJ220. This is, 
Yeah. This yeah. day. Place, this day. It's a lot to take in. It's a lot. Out. Sam is taking off off to another country. Well, that was a fantastic day hanging out with Seen Through Glass as well as Supercars of London, touring the epic Lamborghini dealership, seeing that Urus startup. I have never heard of Urus before and I was pleasantly surprised at the sound. Look at this Aston Martin. And of course, I can't get over that cone exec. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Like always, please browse the channel and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you next video.